as difficult as the decisions are now, we had to make the right business decisions. Uh, we also had to navigate through the human elements of these decisions. Refugee resettlement programs in the area are having to lay people off. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. The number of incoming refugees has dropped dramatically since the president's travel ban. Some people are gathering tonight in support of refugees. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Abigail Wood is live there with them and more in tonight's top story. Abigail? Ron and Megan, I'm here outside Lutheran Family Services near 23rd and O Street. As you can see behind me, there is a huge group of people here standing in support of refugees. Now, they were originally expecting only about 200 to 300, but I can tell you from just looking around, there's at least 500 people here. This, after Lutheran Family Services had to lay off a few employees in their refugee department because there just aren't enough refugees coming into the city to require a full staff. Lutheran Family Services, an organization with one of the largest refugee resettlement programs in Nebraska, got rid of 15 positions in that department this last week. They say it's in response to a dramatic downturn in new refugee arrivals after President Donald Trump's immigration ban. So the impact is already happening. Our numbers of arrivals, instead of being maybe between 50, 60, sometimes 100 a month that we were experiencing last year, are, are just not happening. The recent executive order brought the max number of refugees allowed in the U.S. from more than 100,000 a year down to 50,000, slowing the flood of immigrants to a trickle. Raquel Torres is one of the few people still working in refugee resettlement in Lincoln. You know, all of my colleagues that I worked with are departing. I mean, I'll be the only case manager left. The 90-day resettlement program helps refugees find jobs, get their children in schools, and adjust to the culture. These are absolutely dedicated, some of the hardest working uh, people uh, that I've ever interacted with, even when I was delivering the difficult news to them about the job eliminations, they were still asking me, how can we still help? We all worked very well as a team, and we have the passion to help all of those that are coming here. So it's very difficult. Lutheran Family Services says people bothered by the halt on refugee immigration can do a lot of good just by looking in their backyard. There are refugees here that need our help. They also say if things change, they will be ready to jump back into refugee resettlement full steam. These people will be out here on O Street until around 6.30 this evening. Now, if you want to help refugees in your neighborhood who have already settled in Lincoln, we'll have more information on how you can do that on our website. KOKNTV.com for folks. Thank you again, Abigail, reporting live for us.